So I would like to just take a second to appreciate the fact that the uh, Nature's Promise organic version of goldfish are called Cheese Sea Snackers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Today is Fitness Friday here on My Weekly Fitness and I'm going to do a review slash informative session uh, on a pyramid treadmill workout that I found. I actually really liked it uh, because the speed changes like fairly constantly. The longest time you're ever on one speed is for five minutes and I get bored easily, you know, short attention span. So it was a really good workout for me. Um, it's a total of 44 minutes, only I made it 45 minutes because I thought it was weird to just stop at 44 minutes. I actually did this workout on Wednesday because I wasn't going to just, you know, give it to you guys having not tested it at all. The workout starts with a warm-up period and then alternates between fast periods where you're running, you guessed it, faster, and then recovery periods where you're running slower, and then it ends with a cool-down period. The warm-up pace is anywhere between 4.5 and 5.5 and miles per hour, and you're going to do it for 5 minutes. The first fast period is at 8 miles an hour for 1 minute. The recovery period is at 5.5 miles per hour and you're going to do it for 1 minute and it's actually going to be the same recovery period after each fast period. The next fast period is at 7.5 miles per hour and you're going to do it for 2 minutes and you follow with another recovery period at 5.5 miles per hour for 1 minute. The next fast period is going to be at 7 miles per hour and you're going to do it for 3 minutes and then follow with the same recovery period that you've been doing. And if you're witty and can figure out the pattern that's going on, you'll notice that every time you decrease by half a mile per hour, you're increasing it by a minute. Uh, so your next fast period is going to be at six and a half miles per hour for four minutes, and then you'll go down to six miles per hour for five minutes. And then you're going to work your way back up on the last half of the workout. So that was probably a lot harder to follow than what I really anticipated. So after this, I'm going to have a screen, hopefully, hello hair where I actually lay out what speed you should be at at what time, and hopefully that helps. The only difference I made to the original workout was made the last, re what is my air conditioner doing? I made the last recovery period two minutes instead of one minute, so that ex extends and makes it 45 minutes total rather than just 44. I never know how to end these things.